Hey, it's Mario here and in this quick video I decided to review for you guys my favorite pair of gym headphones and this has been a question that I've been asked a lot about and so which headphones do you use in the gym? You guys notice that I use Bluetooth headphones in my workout videos. Uh, I've been using this product for over a year and a half now and they've been awesome. So we're talking about the Jaybird Blue Buds X. Awesome product, as I said, year and a half of torture. I don't pay attention to my gear. I'm basically really careless when it comes to the equipment that I carry in my gym. These have endured a lot of different things, like plates dropping on them, water spilling on them. Like I've used them all around the world. I've been traveling to more than 20 countries with these and I can only say the good things. So I wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of a kind of pros and cons of the product and how I use it and why did I choose these ones. I've been always using wired headphones in the past. I've been using the iPhone ones, the stock one that's come with the iPhone. We'll be using the stock one that's come with the uh, Samsung phone, also the Sennheiser Adidas line. I've been using those as well with the Sansa Clipzip MP3 player and with my phone as well. And I always find that the wires were interfering in my training. So always some wire while you're doing a set, one earbud will fall out or something like that. It was always a mess. And um, I wanted to switch to Bluetooth. I did a lot of research and I'm the kind of guy that really digs deep into the research before I'm buying any kind of product. I read all the reviews on Amazon. I read all different types of uh, websites and I came across these Jaybird Blue Buds X and I said, okay, well, I'm gonna commit to this, I'm gonna buy this product and uh, let's see how it goes. And I was not disappointed. So this thing here is amazing. So you got seven hours of battery life. So it's, it's still seven hours, even after a year and a half of use. It takes about two hours to charge. You can charge them here. And this little port uses a micro USB. I've been using these not just in the gym, I've been using them around the house as I'm cooking, I'm listening to audiobooks, I'm walking to the gym, walking backwards, going to shopping, pretty much all the time they're around my neck, pretty lightweight, stylish as well if you're into that kind of stuff. I didn't really care about that so much, but they're pretty cool. I mean, they fit well inside of the ear and they have these shields that prevent it from coming out. Pretty awesome, as you can see here. And um, I've been only happy with the sound quality as well. I know a lot of uh, concerns out there for the uh, audio files and for guys who really care about sound quality is whether the Bluetooth will deliver an equal good of uh, sound quality as the wired ones. I can definitely say that these are pretty fucking good. I mean, compared them to any wired, I didn't notice that much difference. I'm, I'm not an audio file. I don't really pay attention to too much of the details. But if you listen to music, if you listen to audiobooks, I mean, they get the job done. As well, one of my favorite features, I guess, with these is that they're so lightweight and easy to carry around. I don't have to worry about basically where the wires are. They're not tangling. They're, they're not creating these knots that you have to figure out before every workout. Additionally, I can easily pair it my phone, which takes about 10 seconds to do, and I can listen to all my favorite uh, audiobooks from Audible. I can listen to my MP3 stuff. I mean, YouTube, whatever you want. And it's just a lot of uh, time saved in terms of like managing more devices. So this one device, I've been also using it on my computer as well sometimes when I'm just too bored to switch to my uh, big headphones that I have for video editing, I use these. I mean, it's a, all around an amazing product. I never experienced any uh, skipping in terms of sound. As far as the range, I mean, every freaking gym I've been to, that's more than like 15 different gyms. I can tell you that there never been any problems with the range, even behind two, three walls. I mean, they're, they're still perfectly fine. I would say they go about, from the reviews I've seen when I was doing my research, I think they go about 200 feet, like straight line out in the open, which is pretty insane. Uh, even if you're, uh, even if you're like doing some kind of running and if your phone, phone falls out, you won't even notice until you run about 200 feet away. And um, that's one thing I guess when I was just getting used to them, that's one of the cons, I guess, switching to Bluetooth from wired. I was just getting used to it. I was, I kept forgetting my phone because I always had that thing where my phone is on me. I'm like, it's plugged in. All that awesome stuff is going through the, from the phone. But with these, when I switched for the first time, I was actually forgetting my phone on a couple of machines in the gym. So luckily in that country where I was at the time, I was in Canada and uh, I hadn't had any issues. People would always like bring me back my phone. But usually, I mean, if you're living in a place, I mean, I was in Vancouver, if you're living in some kind of place where it's not really safe, where there's a lot of tourists, I mean, like Barcelona, my phone actually got stolen there. 
uh, so in the gym. So you wanna make sure that you really don't forget your phone. That's a quick heads up there when you're switching to Bluetooth. Aside from that, I mean, as I said, a great product. Even charging them for only 30 minutes, I found that you can go through a workout even if they're completely empty and they have a little indicator here that uh, goes green. Even if it's not fully charged, you can still go through a whole workout. Uh, the time that I've most um, been having them, when I most have wore them was uh, actually for my flight. Uh, from uh, Europe to Asia when I was flying to Hong Kong. It was a pretty long flight and I actually used them uh, for full charge and I uh, recharged them and I used them again. And during that time, I actually did notice some discomfort. <laughs> That's after like six hours of wearing them and listening to audiobooks. I don't even know if it's just my brain telling me that I'm listening to too much stuff or it's just that they became a little bit uncomfortable. So that's something you want to look out for. I mean, for me, they're pretty awesome because they have uh, multiple different types of um, ear tips, which you can test for yourself, which, which uh, fits the best. Um, I would say if you want to wear them for hours and hours and hours, I don't think any earbuds out there really will be super, super comfortable. Um, for you guys who are concerned about that, I mean, you can definitely try them out. I would highly urge you to check it out and uh, see if they really fit you. But as I said, I mean, only after six hours, I noticed some discomfort out there, which is uh, not a big deal. I think any kind of thing that I was wearing in my head or any pair of earbuds, headphones or whatever would be uncomfortable after that much time. So. In a sense, overall, really, really good product. I mean, these are the Blue Buds X. This is the older model right now. They're, they have the X2, X3 is also coming out soon. Uh, I would urge you to, if you're looking for something like this, if you're in the market to trying out a Bluetooth pair of headphones, these will not disappoint. I know when I was looking to buy something, I was reading all the reviews. Nobody could really tell me, well, just get this product and you're gonna be happy. Well, this is the product, right? I'm not affiliated with Jaybird. I have nothing to do with them. This is simply my honest review of a product that I've been really, really happy with. If these die, I'm gonna get a new pair of Blue Buds X, whatever the model would, was at that time. Uh, maybe it's gonna be the X3, maybe X4, I don't know how long these will last. Uh, right now, you can get these old ones for, I think about 70 bucks on Amazon, I'm not sure, but make sure to get the new ones. Uh, the, um, by new, I mean the new, brand new these ones, so don't get the used ones because I've heard that the battery life actually can decline after recharging it so many times and after two years of use. Because they, these uh, have been, I believe these have been around for a couple of years already, maybe about even about three, four years. So you wanna make sure that you get the brand new these ones or the new X2s if you wanna invest a little bit more money. I don't even know the price of the new model, but definitely, definitely can really give props to Jaybird for awesome audio quality, um, great sound. I mean, they improved my workout a lot. I listen to stuff all the time. And one of, one of my favorite things before I forget this is that you have the audio isolation effect. So they pretty much isolate all the environment. So right now, if I put these on, I can't hear anything around me. I can't hear like the, the traffic, I cannot hear anything. And they're pretty awesome because it allows you to focus in the gym, focus on your work. You can barely hear people, you can barely hear the gym music, you can really zone in and do your workout properly. So I wanted to give this quick review for you guys because I know a lot of you have been asking me about this. So Jaybird's Blue Buds X, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if I find the link for this uh, older model there, and also the link for the new one. So grab it if you're interested. Aside from that, let me know in the comments below, are you currently using a pair of Bluetooth headphones? What's your experience with that? And aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.